this uh, 757 GX we have uh, I have uh, the issue with this uh, radio is uh, the memory internal memory is uh, fully dead because it's a very old radio so if the frequency of the display is anywhere here any of the band any of if I change the frequency to VFOA VFOB to any other frequency after I turn on the radio it will not go, come back to this frequency for example this the station is here if I turn it off and if I turn it back the memory will not be back the last frequency will not be back let me check turn it off I turned off now if I go back I must get it I must get 21 to 3.4 so it is going back to the 7 0 0 0 both VFO A and VFO B remain same if I change any other band whatever it is if I turn off turn on the battery is not at all there so there is no frequency of the previous the last band similarly there is no uh, memory functions of the internal memory nothing is there so I need to replace the battery here inside I got the uh, lithium 3 volts battery which is uh, let me open it and show you so this is a 3 volts battery which is used in the computer uh, CPU so yeah this is a 3 volts battery which comes with a connector with a wire it will be easy for me to do the wiring inside so I need to open and go to the main board and then uh, I have to replace it with the old battery so let me proceed and uh, let us see after changing the battery how does it works let me open and uh, go back go to the original battery location and, uh, and try to install this I remove the screws and then this let us open this cover here is the battery the internal battery this is positive and the other side is negative So we can disconnect this point and the other side. I am trying to retain this terminal so that we can easily uh, solder the, uh, the new battery wire here and we can place the battery here. So otherwise we need to remove everything, all the board, the entire board to solder. So better to retain this, let me cut from this point. like this ladies <laughs> the blade got cut so
this side is ready and the other side you need to check similarly do it similarly both side the battery is uh, disconnected this these two are the battery tunnels you can see the soldering is uh, completed this battery terminals it's positive and the other side negative so i'll just place it under here it will be just uh, below this below this uh, spacer the spacer height so after placing the cover the mesh cover the shielding this will not be above this uh, above this spacer so hope it will be okay now so let us turn it on and see so we'll uh, replace the cap after the testing so let me turn on this uh, radio now Let me look for some station. Let me adjust uh, on the VFOB some other frequency. I set uh, 18, uh, VFOB on uh, 18100. VFOA for uh, 14021. Let me turn it off. Let me turn it off and then see whether the memory will be retained. Turned off. Oh, it's back. <laughs> so the battery is uh, working. A for B, A for A. So now I can, if I turn it to six. Turn it off. Back, so the battery is uh, successfully replaced and it is working fine. And uh, this is the old battery, the original ASU. And this is also 3 volts type, so we can do this way.